All right, what's up, Hustle? Welcome back to my Hot Banger Reaction Marathon. So, we're going to check out the second Hot Banger vid that we're going to check out. And of course, it's from Zephyr. That's right. So this is actually his recent one of Rocky IV, by the way. And the title of it is called When Rocky Spun Back Against Drago for Apollo Creed. So, as you may know, Carl Weathers passed away. Rest in peace, man. I love I love Carl Weathers so much. You know, in, you know him playing as Paul Creed, him and Predator, mostly everything he was in. He was he's such a fantastic, he was such a fantastic actor. But yeah, man. Um, yeah, and of course Chubbs from Happy Gilmore, which by the way they actually are making another Happy Gilmore. Like wow, like it's crazy, man. It's gonna feel it's gonna feel kind of sad, you know, um, not seeing Chubbs in the movie, wasn't the sequel. But even though his character died in the first one comically because the freaking alligator, um, you know, bit his, bit his hand off. If you're not seeing Happy Gilmore, please watch it. It's one of the best Adam Sandler movies for sure. So, Hot Squad, let's waste some time. We're free to do. Let's check out the Zephyr recap of Rocky IV right now. Let's check it out. Here's some peace, Carl Riders. Yep. Yeah. No tomorrow. <sighs> yep. I promise y'all this like a month ago. It's about damn time. Y'all well, already know what time it is. DJ Playmark! So, Apollo, how do you think this match is gonna proceed? Well, I'm gonna have him and his cook noodle haircut laid out like some tapestry. Drago, more like I'm a drag. Your ass! Drago, do you have anything to say about this? This is. His tongue didn't go through custom. <laughs> As you can clearly see, Drago's getting flamed at the lunch table. He really yeah. got to the point where Uncle's pep talking Drago mid conference talking about some. Listen to everybody. Nobody, nobody believes in you. What are you prepared to do about it? And after hearing that, Drago takes it to the ring. We get to the ring and we see Drago locked in in complete darkness. He just like me when the post not clarity here. I'll be on the side of my bed like the Call of Duty dude. He gets into the arena and he sees Apollo's pull up. And this man really got all these dancers talking about some. <laughs> like, bro, what? Hey, this got a hard though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> The fight finally starts, but before it commences, we get this. Yeah, I hope y'all ready for something crazy. The bell rings, and we get to round one. The majority of this round is spent dancing around the ring, the opposite of what you're doing when you listen to Gorilla's music. But I want y'all to notice something. This is why I knew Apollo was gonna get dragged. Peep game. Look at Drago's position of power. He's sitting in the middle of the ring. And because of his placement and frame, he can control every action that happens in the ring. Like a frat house bouncer. If you a male, fat, or black, you're not getting in. He's trapping you. This man already got the floor general badge. And you want to know why that's a bad thing? Because Apollo should have that, bruh. This is his home court. You should be owning it right now, but you moving like a corner specialist. Damn. This man starts throwing some quick jabs just like Ruby Rose with her toes out. Them hoes getting eight. Mmm, eat those. Three munchies. This man eating those for free. He got to the point where Cree was like, Fuck! Damn! Nah, if this man's jawline got some spatula like a cartoon character, stop it. Get some help. Dr. Miami was clearly watching Fairly Odd Parents in the booth, cause what the hell did this nigga do to his chin? Cree keeps hammering blows, but just like Kid Leroy's discography, <laughs> the Russians started getting bored seeing Creed Damn. play ring around the Rosie for two straight minutes and they was like, alright, let's get started. Once he heard that, this man went on demon. Yes. Awakened yes. like the Winter Soldier, no. straight started beating this nigga self. He had my man on the rope seeing Picasso art, straight scribbles. All them flashing lights was looking like blurred lines right out of a notebook. This the closest thing this nigga done to reading. But he's getting done bad. Drago threw him across the ring like he's running on a track. Like, nah, man, get back here, nigga. What are you doing? That is not how the game is played. Come on. Now, dog, even his wife after seeing them hits was like, Nah, that's my man. This man is getting pummeled so hard, he's hitting soldier boy views in the opposite direction. Like, nah, this is straight up sickening. I can't even watch this. Like, since when have you seen cartoon sweat particles fly off a nigga's head? This man gonna come out this fight sounding like a straight dinosaur. There's no way you're speaking clearly after this. But that 
that massacre of a match finally ends and they go back to their respective corners. Mm, Alright, I'm not gonna lie, man. You're getting cooks. If you end the fight right now, you at least walk out with your Emmer pass, man. Please. What are you talking about? I had him. You saw that last year I put on Bro Reeves? I got this! I know Rocky was stressing hard as hell here in that one. It's over. Round 2 starts and Creed gets smacked with two straight jabs got him looking like ease. With the amount of jabs he has taken to the cranium, he's gonna have that stink face for life. See grandma, I told you my tape was a straight up hit. Look at grandpa, bro. Creed starts throwing some punches, but this is where Drago really started playing with this man. I look up and this nigga's straight hitting head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Like bro, what the f*** is going on? And then I saw this nigga hit ease, I was like, nah, you bring a white nigga to an African function one time. I swear if I I see this nigga hit some waistline, I'm genuinely gonna tweak the f*** out. He pushes Creed off him and I saw him hit this. <laughs> nah, I'm about to leave. I've never seen a brother get hold this bad before. They tell Rocky to throw the towel, but right when he grabs it. Don't throw a towel. Damn. While my man's on the floor, we get this icon. He really had to put the fart, fart sound when like, you know, Creed was on down. Oh, that's dirty. He dies. And that match ends brutally. And moving past that devastating loss, Rocky driving home after seeing his homie get slept. Remember the time you had. The time that you and me had. And at this point, the fully sentient CTE you received from Clubber Lang was really in the back of his head talking about some. And what does Rocky do? Just that. The first round starts in My dog Block? My nigga just walked right into his doom This is not a cutscene nigga Press A Rocky's in the corner getting pressed so bad He tried flailing his arms just to fight back But he gets out the corner and he's really eating all these blows straight to the head Rocky at this point is just begging for more brain problems You're already hearing 16 different voices in your head But your strategy is to get more CTE This nigga really said if this causes hematoma Give me more of that brain damage I like it I'm telling you it's hitting him already This man's trying to out move the CTE. My dog, it don't work like that. Rocky gets him in the corner and he starts throwing straight jabs at his midsection. And Drago's just like, that don't work. Yeets him to the side, throws two straight jabs in. This man trying to hit a naked side B like he won't get punished. Goofy. And it's so sad. The brain damage was really in his head talking about some. Like, bro, you cannot be shooting straight bricks like this from half courts. But Drago began to straight liquidate this nigga, hitting him with left rights like he really rocking. That's for you. Oh, yeah. And one for your wife. Okay. That ends round one. Well, well round two starts and Rocky's actually smoothing. I'm seeing some leaves. I'm like, hold on. He was actually moving, but this is where the brain damage started to reveal itself. It could not stay hidden. Because Drago hooks him with the right, and you see him winding up his punch like he Donkey Kong. And what does this man decide to do? Lunge right at him. I know his last two brain cells got knocked out of order. It was over. It got to the point where Rocky was trying to give this nigga hugs mid fight. You cannot kill this nigga with kindness. You think me baking a cake for Trump will change his worldview? My eyes deceive me. Relax. Or Drago real life picked this man up and said, Get off me! Throwing him across the ring. He runs at this nigga again. Clock. But he's really in there taking all the beatings in the world. But in that moment of desperation is where we get this. Cut? I paid 200k for this nigga's jawline. What do you mean cut? And then we see Rocky coming back with the hardest comeback of all time. Straight feasting on this nigga, hitting him with the pop, 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 pop. I'm like, yo, that's what I'm talking about. Bro was cooking so hard, the Russian niggas was like, oh, nah, my parlay. The bell has already rung, but these niggas did not stop boxing. I'm seeing this man drag over here, eight foot vert in the air and skyhook this nigga. I'm like, what is going on? Only for Rocky to tackle this man to the floor and then we get this beautiful music in the background i 
I would yeah, commentate yeah, over this whole montage, but this bit lasts five minutes long. And the music gonna amplify this scene more than I ever could. Make sure you watch this scene if you have not. It's literally five straight minutes of two real niggas going hit for hit. And then we get to the final round. So the final round starts and Rocky's moving a little bit too crazy right now. He's signaling Drago to hit him. He's just like, nope. Rocky done unlocked Ultra Instinct mid fight. This nigga is crazy. They start going hit for hit for a little bit. But this is when Rocky really started putting paws on him Started working him so bad I heard the preacher in the back talking about some Yeah And I say look at this man Tell him preacher And my boy hit him with a left And my boy hit him with a right And I said let me get one more And then he just kept going <laughs> And with that flurry of punches, he puts Drago to the floor, successfully spinning back for his mans and turning all of Russia into pro-Americans. This was definitely Rocky's greatest fight, but this was not his greatest opponent. That title goes to him. I'm gonna catch y'all next time. <laughs> Dead meat. <laughs> yeah, this is a great recap, man. It's been so long I've seen Rocky IV. Really, it's been a while since I've seen mostly every single Rocky before the Creed movies. It's been so long. But yeah, man, I remember all of this. I remember, definitely remember Rocky IV. But yeah, this is, this is hilarious, man. Great recap, man. Great tribute to Carl Weathers, man, because Carl Weathers is such an incredible actor. Yeah, I thought I did mention before that I'm making another Happy Gilmore, by the way. You know, he played Chubbs in the first one. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm really curious how that's going to be. But yeah, Hot Squad, that is my conclusion of my reaction to Zephyr's recap of Rocky IV. So if you enjoyed this, please hit that button. Comment your share thoughts. What's your favorite Rocky movie? What's your favorite Carl Weathers movie? And how many times you seen um the entire Rocky movies? How many times you seen it? So yeah, this makes me want to watch every single one of them because of this. So yeah, absolutely, definitely ready for that. So all squad, please stay tuned because I have Casper's recap of the Boondocks in a couple of seconds. So please stay tuned for that.